this is my best, best trade that we did with my FEB students. Guys, let me tell you, Forex is easy and it is simple. If you're listening to me right now and you're very discouraged, kindly watch this video to the end because if you keep watching me, you will be making money and you will come from making $10 to $100 and you might find yourself even making $1,000. And who knows, 10,000 will not be far from you. So if you want to, to be my YouTube student for free, watch what I did with my, my paid students. And you need to understand if you, if you watch these videos and you still want to buy my course, my course is available, even if you are an international student, it is available. It's a recorded course that I charge $400. It has 12 modules, 60 videos in total, and um, it is very detailed uh, course. Now, for, for if you want to come to Kenya, you're an international student, you're most welcome. I can host you. But if you want to learn online, be my guest. For physical students, the class is starting March 11th. So March 11 is when we will start um, the class on March. And this class is class of grace. But there, guys, you have entered the month of grace. The month of grace is where I think you are so tired trading Forex and not getting results. And then you release your life to God because Forex is spiritual. You need to understand that. You just release your life to God and tell God, yes, I have been trading Forex with no... Um, I have trading Forex with no outcome. God, this month of March, because it's grace, let me connect you, connect myself to the grace that you have and help me through. And then you can go somewhere and write your target of the March and don't write according to your own mind, write with the mind of Christ. So if you normally get like $100 every month, you can target $1,000. If you can make $1,000 easily, why can't you target $3,000? So that is called the month of March where whatever you do with Forex, it won't be your own uh, power. God will have, will have given you power. That's why in these videos, I highly, I highly lift God so high because he was kind enough to give me the holy spirit these things i was not taught by any man they are not of human origin holy spirit is my mentor he mentor me when i sleep when i'm awake when i'm 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 talking i always hear his voice telling me counseling me give me ideas and when i look at my chat i can be able to communicate with him that's why i have created eight strategies you might think eight strategies are not are so many, but with the Holy Spirit, you cannot limit him. Anyway, to end with that, let's go to our best trade with Feb class. And this is the this is the analysis we did with the class, and they were so so excited. Now, first thing I told the students is that anytime you open your chart, anytime you open your chart, this is for our time frame. If you go to daily, you can be able to check the trend very well without um, taking the market so far. If you check the trend of this market, the market is uptrend. Buyers have been in control. And if we can check very well, buyers have been in control to a point they have broken a resistance. Majority of people don't know how to trade when resistance breaks, maybe on weekly, daily. They don't know how to trade. And I'm choosing to teach you this for free because it's the month of grace. You understand? I'm teaching you this for free. This information I charge, but I'm here teaching you for free. So take it seriously. Take a notebook, take a pen, make it a serious. This is a serious lesson. So this is what I want to teach everyone here for free. Anytime resistance break, every time support break, your work is to go to lower time frame and look for a pattern. So I'm teaching you this for free because it will help you. Let's say the market was an uptrend, up, down, like that. That's how you know the market is on a, an uptrend. If we happen to break this resistance and it is a very strong resistance because if we can check behind the scene, the market was coming from let's say this area. So we can see here, we had a zone. So the market has broken not only 
one resistance but two resistance meaning it's very strong if you ever find in a market the resistance breaking you should ask yourself what should i do number one right somewhere anytime resistance break it is an indication of what number one it is an indication of buyers are in control buyers are in control so if buyers are in control what should i do number two if my buyers are in control i should be looking for buy opportunity i should look i should look for buy opportunity opportunity so i should be looking for buy opportunity don't buy immediately but look for buy opportunity and then where where is the buy opportunity uh being looked at lower time frame because even if you stay on the daily you will never see a, a, an opportunity to buy lower time frame is your friend and then the last thing if you want to buy and you go to lower time frame which pattern do you want to get i want to guess a double bottom for me to buy so those are the things that you check whenever resistance is broken and understand we will do like a reverse of when a support is broken so buyers are in control i should look for buy opportunity i should go to lower time frame and i should look for a double bottom so in case this is where the market broke so if this is where the market broke let's start from the scratch so if the market broke like that you can see that market majority of people what they do they want to trade blindly. So they there's category one. They just want to buy because the resistance has broken and they were told buying is the right thing. I'm not saying buying is wrong, but when you buy with no information, and this is what I tell my students, nothing is hard in Forex. Nothing is hard in Forex. The only thing that is hard in Forex is when you trade ignorantly when you trade with lack of rules, when you trade with no best rules to govern you, that is what makes you hard. For instance, if you know when a resistance break like this, I need to go to lower time frame and I look for a pattern. If you know that, you cannot place your buy trade immediately. If you don't know, you will place a buy trade and guess what? The market will start going against you. Again, majority of people do like this. They, they know when the market breaks, the market do retest. That one is information that is out there. So when they feel that this is the retracement, they start buying blindly. Who told you the market cannot retrace up to here? Who told you the market cannot re retrace and come all the way down? So when you say the market will just retrace here, you're using ignorance. It can come even back here. It can even come down even that area. So don't use ignorance um, saying, oh, I will just wait for retracement to where? Yes, retracement is something to say, but to where? How do you know your retracement is done? What is this rule that you have set for yourself? And you can say for sure, if I use this rule, it I will be given an entry. Anyway, so there are people who will be waiting for retracement at that zone where the market broke and they start entering a uh, sale but we have said we cannot stay on lower time frame so if they place us a buy trade because they think the retracement is done what happens the market still continue to go down so this is what you do this is what you do if the market breaks if the market breaks like that what have we said in our rules let's go back to the rules we have said i should be looking for buy opportunity I have noticed majority of people, mostly retail traders who are beginners, when the market breaks, they call this market overbought. Who gave you that idea that if the market breaks, resistance is an overbought market and they start trying to sell. And when the market starts to sell, they put more sales, not knowing that is a trap. That is a trap put there. Anyway, we have said when the market breaks resistance, we go where? We go to four hour. So this is our four hour time frame. Can you see it? A four hour time frame like that. So when I have four hour time frame, where do I think I can have a double bottom? Because the third thing I have said, is it the third thing? 
I have said go to lower time frame, look for double bottom. So I have a criteria for my retracement, guys. I'm not just waiting the market to retrace with no agenda. I know if it has to retrace, it will be attracted to a place where I can have a double bottom. And this is what I do. I am not biased, guys. I'll just come and mark my areas. I'll mark that. Can you see? I will mark this. Um, and then I can mark what? I can mark this one. Can you see another one? This are, that's another area. That's another zone for double bottom. I will not stop. I will come and mark the last one. Like I like using like three areas. If they get broken, all of them, I will now go. Uh, I will now go lower. So once you mark the three areas where you're thinking you can have a double bottom, this you're just thinking out loud. I'm not saying it will come and activate one, two, three. Even you don't know which one it will be taken. So I want you to highlight, highlight. Understand we are doing this only when a resistance is broken, okay? Only when a resistance is broken. That's the exercise we are doing. And then I want you to flip back to daily to see if these double bottom zones are OPT. When I call OPT, it means if this same support, because support is created when a red candle is followed by a green candle. Support is created here when a red candle is followed by a green candle. Support here is created when a red candle is followed by a green candle. If I go on the daily and it, I don't see green followed, red followed by green, it means I don't have support. And if I don't have a support, it means I don't have a possible double bottom. So let me go to the daily and tell me every zone that I have marked on the daily, there's nothing. Meaning it is a potential area for the market to come and retest there. So I'm giving you, it's like giving you gold mine, giving you gold mine, guys. So you're on four hour, don't buy, don't sell. You are watching what will the market do at that area. So you watch, you can even put an alarm. You can put an alarm. Remember, we are not here to sell. We are not here to sell guys. We are here to look for buy opportunity because selling is short term. So what has happened, our first zone that we thought the market will activate has been violated. Just remove it, just remove it like that. And now we have two zones. We don't know even if this one will be violated and it activates the third one, we don't know. So as we are waiting, the second one is activated. Once the second one is activated and no violation, violation would have happened if a red candle would have broken that double bottom. So I will mark my neckline. That is my neckline. And then I will mark my what? My half. So let's mark our half, guys. This is our half. If you're my student, you know this trade has RBS. Anytime a trade has RBS, it has even higher chances of buying. So the RBS here, and that's why I tell people, even if I teach you on YouTube, what you get in my class is so much information. What you get in my course is so much information. So when I talk like this, I just want to show you there's more to learn. There's more to learn, more than what I teach on YouTube. Anyway, so I have second attempt. And you, you can notice we have identified this being an OPT. This is an OPT. We don't have it on the daily. And if it's because it's on four hour, which strategy will you use? I will use CRB, current resistance break. So as I'm waiting for current resistance break, let's see what happens. So I'm waiting for current resistance break and the market happens to go straight and activate my half. Meaning this trade, I was never given an opportunity to use CRB. That's one you need to understand. Not always the market will give you from take profit one, uh, from entry to take profit one. Sometimes the market will come, uh, activate and hit TP1 without you. So TP1, we didn't get. How do we get to TP2? TP2 is our neckline. How do we get from the half to neckline? We just need the candle to do what? To break with the body. That is what we are waiting. So TP1, you can see, we didn't get it because this candle was too huge and it activated. Once the market has activated, there's nothing else you can do. So I was waiting for half to break. 
And in this case, you have to be very careful, guys, with such double bottoms. Why? This double bottom can turn to be a cup and handle. That's why I tell, you know, many people don't understand. Why are you waiting at the half? Can't you just buy to the neckline? And what if it, it, it turns to be cup and handle? So let me just put it out there for people who don't understand what I say. They think, why well, well, you are just wasting your time? You could have bought it a bully shenga. Remember on four, we don't use bully shenga. This market as smooth as you're seeing it, what if it turns to be an inverted cup and handle? And you know it can sell. As long as half is not broken, there is higher chances of inverted cup and handle anyway. So the market did like that. Now we are waiting for half to break. So we wait. The half is not breaking. The half is not breaking. And we get half breaking. Can you see? Half has broken. So when half has broken, what are we trying to do? We are trying to buy. If you can notice, if you watch the, the other video on gold, is the same strategy that I used on gold. We are buying 95 pips. Hey, this was my best trade with my students. Now I told the students, what have I taught you? I have taught you if you have analyzed double bottom, the first thing you have checked, the trend. Which is the trend? We have checked the trend is buy, buy movement. So uh, let's check again the trend. You can see the market is on a buy trend. Can you see? The market has been buying. So the trend is buy. Double bottom will be supported. So the trend is buy. That is number one. The trend, uh, the, the part, the trend, remember, the trend went and broke a resistance on the daily. So what we are doing, this is a retracement. Uh, it's like I'm teaching you how to trade retracement. So once the market broke and this is a retracement, we have identified a, a, an OPT, a double bottom that is only on one time frame. Now it's our chance to enter that buy. Long position and we enter that buy. Imagine 195 pips. So what happened is that this trade really ranged for a while and the students were getting impatient. I was telling them, when you have a very accurate strategy, you just relax. You just enter the trades and do what? You relax, why? Because there's no way you can say, this, this trade will take me five, two days, one day, one hour, five hours, no. The only business you have with the market is to analyze. The rest, you leave it to the market. You can see 95 pips, my student got it. And it was so, so good. I could see the joy in their hearts, in their eyes. I could see someone who had never made money for so long, making money in class. I could see beginners, people who are totally... You know, in class, we trade. We trade live in class. If you didn't know, now you know. We trade during the class. And when we were trading, I could see students who came knowing nothing and they are seeing dollars because this they made almost like those who were doing 001, they made like $9. But those who had 0 0.1, they made $94. And you could see someone saying, all along I've been struggling and Forex can make me money. And it was like a game changer because remember, even the gold trade that I had shown you in the previous video, we still traded with the student. We traded it with the students. So um, I told them what I have taught you previously uh, in this channel. Anytime you have a double bottom and it has reached to the neckline, if it breaks the neckline, it is on the way to complete this double bottom. And I told them the double bottom uh, has four take profits. TP1 is half, TP2 is neckline, TP3 is half of the distance, TP4 is full distance. I told them TP3 is what is guaranteed. TP4 is not guaranteed. So once the market reached TP3, be careful on how you trade. So we are waiting for the neckline to break um, and our neckline broke. So you can see our neckline broke. If now again, you apply what I have taught here. If you try to apply, Anytime resistance is broken, go to lower time frame and find for a double bottom. Do you know you will find? <laughs> that is exactly what you should do. 
apply even if it's breaking on four hour and you want to enter you can go to two hours to check do i have a pattern you can go even to 30 minutes do i have a double bottom can you see this this is an area so you can say i will come and and target this area that's my double bottom and let's check it is the same strategy let me tell you once you have the skill you just apply it across there's no skill that you apply once you just apply across so this is an area that you can target and if you come to one hour there is no that double bottom. If you come to two hours, there is no that double bottom. If you come to four hours like that. So the market is like that. Uh, let's see what happens. So the market comes and activates. Can you see guys, the market has activated. It's so simple. It's so simple guys. It has activated our double bottom on 30 minutes. Can you see? And 30 minutes, the double bottom was not in any other time frame. And that's what I'm telling you. Once you understand what I have said today, you'll thank me later because you know you have to make money. So there was a double bottom on 30 minutes. And that's why you would have traded, even if you used half to break, like even if you use a, a new way of trading this, you can see CRB, you could have entered around here that trade. So on 30 minutes, the market really activated that double bottom. And that double bottom, if you go on four hour, you don't have it. And you know, guys, what happens? If you entered with 30 minutes, let me show you where you could have entered, CRB. You could have entered here. This is where we are entering. And we are targeting to TP what? To TP2, uh, to TP3. So you could have entered here. When everyone is thinking, what is happening? Where is the market retracing to? When the market breaks that time frame, you can't look with the same time frame. No. Now you are getting another 94 pips. If four hour breaks, where would you say the market will retrace here? It doesn't happen. You have to go to lower time frame. So if the market breaks with four hour, go to lower time frame, guys. Go to lower time frame. So we have seen the market. Let's check um, this. Let me make it visible on the hours so that we can see what really happened. Did we get the, 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 the 94 pips? Did we get the 94 pips? So you can see the market coming all the way to here, almost hitting the take profit, the take profit. You see this take profit? The market came here, 191.11. 191.11. For me, I would have even exited because the market was had broken the same four hour. So if the market breaks four hour, there is danger because anytime resistance is broken, there is retracement. So I would have got my take profit around this area. So guys, with that being said, that was our best take profit. In fact, in my class, when we entered the second trade, they were just targeting 50 pips and it was hit immediately. And this is exactly what I wanted to teach you. What do you do if resistance is broken? What do you do? That is the question of today. And I have told you, if a resistance is broken on the weekly, go on the daily to look for retracement. If it is broken on the daily, go to four to look for retracement. If they break on four hour, use lower time frame to look for that pattern to help you buy. Don't buy blindly. All the best, guys. Hope that video had full of information. It has helped you. Love you so much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.